Trap rapper Kodak Black had a lot to motherfucking say on Instagram Live as soon as he left the dentist getting his rotten teeth shaved down. Kiki Palmer, she's great. I'm bad her, but you know what I'm saying? I don't really like, I don't really like, um, black girls like that. So sort of, kind of. Taylor Swift, great. J Kiki Palmer, she's great. I'm bad her, but you know what I'm saying? I don't really like, I don't really like, um, Black girls like that sounds sort of kind of Taylor Swift great. J now of course you know those comments came with some backlash. Take a look at his clapback video after all the backlash that he got from black women. See one thing about me dog, you ain't just gonna be dissing me. You ain't gonna be dissing me under my comment and none of that shit. Cause bitch I'ma clap back. Hoes, niggas, whatever. I'ma knock your whole man off. I ain't, I ain't even gonna play the one. Don't even comment on my shit. What that fuck shit? Or whatever. Oh, oh, you talking about black woman? Uh, 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 bitch. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like red bones. I love black African Americans, but I don't like black bitches like this. You know what I'm saying? I like yellow hoes. So that's my preference. So motherfuck you. You know what I'm saying? Period. You ain't gonna be coming under my shit and think I ain't gonna clap back. Celebrity, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm gonna come back, pussy asshole. Fuck nigga. I'm I'm coming. I'm I'm clapping back. I ain't I ain't even gonna front. Now interesting enough, before I get into this, I was quite surprised at how many women were upset at his comments. It's as if they took it personal. And I don't understand why women of any sort, including light-skinned women or dark-skinned women or Asian women or white women or whatever, would get bent out of shape or even be excited because there were some bitches that were excited like this hoe here. <laughs> Listen, I am here to go in on all the dark skinned girls that is mad at light skinned girls. We didn't do nothing to y'all. Just because we kill when we come in the room and we light up the room, we didn't do nothing to y'all. Why is y'all mad at us? I, okay, listen, I can't even breathe because I'm so heated. Y'all don't even want to take us out with y'all because y'all don't want the dudes looking at us. We cannot help it. We don't got nothing to do with that. How is y'all mad at us? We didn't do nothing. Our, my mother got with my father and had me. I can't control that I'm light-skinned. And amazingly, her head is quite big because of men like this, like Kodak Black and the Trick Daddies and the French Montanas and the Tyrese's have always preyed upon women like this sexually and have beefed their heads up in order to get them in bed because they're easily broken down in these black men's eyes. I'm an average dude, cause I don't see myself no better than him, no better than him, you know, or no less than him. So if he could say that he likes skinny women, if he prefers skinny women more than a more chubby or heavy set women, he could say that and nobody won't get mad at him. I just said I don't like women with my complexion. I like light skinned women. I want you to be lighter than me. I love African American women, but I just don't like my skin complexion. Okay, okay. Well, I like we your skin complexion. We too gutter. <laughs> black black people, my, my complexion, we too gutter. Light-skinned women, they more sensitive, you know? There's some dark-skinned women out here sensitive. No, 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 they too tough. They too tough. <laughs> they too tough Light-skinned women, we could break them down more easy, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, it. We shout out to Cheney TV already. No Florida, we in the building. Talk real. It's real. Dark-skinned girls is mad at us. For what? What did we do? What did we do to y'all? What did we do? It's not our fault that your boyfriend is leaving you for us. It's not our fault. Yeah, she reminds me of those light-skinned women, too, that were laying up with those men because light-skinned women are more so sexual targets to ignorant black men who have been taught to not love their black skin and to not look at a woman from the inside but to only judge her from the outside. And so I've seen plenty of women like this, no offense, become more of a target. And when they become more of a target and they feel as if I'm probably the most baddest bitch on the planet. Meanwhile, they're sleeping with these men at young ages and then they continue to sleep with these men into their 20s and 30s. And by the time they reach 35, they're looking like this bitch here, Angela Stack. 
Manhattan with five different kids with five different baby daddies, all because she thought her light-skinnedness was her ticket to fucking financial freedom. Mm -hmm. So light-skinned women that think like this bitch here, y'all need to be very cautious and listen very carefully to what these rotten too fast niggas are saying to you whenever you decide to open your legs and allow them to nut in you and fill you full of motherfucking babies. And this goes to white women too who are laying up with these niggas like this, allowing them to fill your head up telling you that you are better than any other woman, not realizing that we're all women. And so you get the big head out in public thinking that you are better than the next woman or even a black woman just because you're laying up with a black man and he done told you that you are the best pussy he has ever encountered because the black woman's pussy is way too masculine for him, meaning she ain't gonna take none of the shit that he done filled your head up with and you think that you can try another black woman out in public just because you sucking his dick and he done told you that you sucking his dick better than the black woman. He gonna get your motherfucking ass whooped. That's what he gonna do. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and end this on a quick note. To all of the women that were upset over Kodak Black's statements, I was quite pleased at his statement, given how his mouth looks. I did a video on this some time ago, when Trick Daddy came out and made his comments on why black women should step up their game and that white women and Asian women are moving in to take black men from us. And when we look at this specific species of black men from Florida like Trick Daddy, just like Kodak Black, and we see them raised by black women who are probably the same color as them, and they probably weren't the best role models, which kind of gave them the idea that a black woman probably wasn't the best choice of a woman based off of their childhood experiences because they know damn well they can't date a dark-skinned woman who was both a mother and a father or who didn't have a father in the household because that bitch is gonna know his game and is gonna be able to run his own game on him and so therefore he won't even feel like a real man in the house because he wasn't raised as a man from the get-go because he was hard-headed and listening to the motherfuckers outside of the house tell him that trapping and rapping and a mouthful of gold that was gonna rotten your teeth and when you took the gold teeth off of your mouth, they were gonna leave your teeth spacious like this so that when you did go down on a light-skinned woman, you was possibly gonna snag her clitoris. Oh, oh shit, Kodak, damn. What up, girl, what, what going on? You, you snag, my, my clitoris, my clit is, it's, it's caught in between your teeth. Don't move, to, don't make no sudden movements. Uh-uh. Don't, don't pull back, shit, nigga. Ho, be still, hold still. Because your teeth was so motherfucking spacious. Because your teeth was so motherfucking spacious. And then he was gonna continue to honor these light-skinned women at a young age and throw them in his music video all to prep them so when they reach of age in the state of Florida where a lot of shit goes down and you won't go to jail for it, he can fuck them and he won't go to jail for child fucking rape. Woo! Mm-hmm. So y'all can get mad. I'm not getting mad. So however many light-skinned bitches want to let these niggas here with rotten teeth snag their clitoris because their teeth are spacious because they're having to have their teeth get shaved down because of all the decay from the gold teeth that they got at 13 years old when their masculine mother who was both the mom and the dad put their motherfucking asses out of the house. Why in the fuck would you get mad? Let these people do them, okay? Mm-hmm. All right? And I ain't say all light-skinned women, I said some, okay? Because I do know a lot of educated, strong-willed, light-skinned women who are both masculine and feminine, and that's what you need to be successful in this world because if you only want to be feminine, they're going to treat you like you're feminine, and when you're ready to step out on your own and make some real motherfucking money, the only thing they're going to see is your pussy, and that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it? Do you, though? Hey, 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 who, who, who am I to motherfucking judge? Who am I to motherfucking judge? I'm just saying. If you want me to eat your pussy and you get BV, go ahead. Take it. Mm-hmm. Take it all from me because I don't want that shit. At motherfucking all. Now I gotta go. <laughs> and before I go, I am drinking the Elviana. This is from Italy, okay? 
This is an actual blend, all right? This is a blend of Cabernet, Merlot, and Malbec. Surprisingly, this particular uh, blend has a bit of a sweet kick to it. And for those of y'all that have been asking me to review sweet wines, I don't like them overly sweet. But if they have a bit of a sweet kick to it, I'll drink it. And this is a very, very good selection. I actually got this for about $9.99 from Publix if you live in the South. But I'll put the link below so that you can search it online because I'm still getting my wine store together. And that way I'll be able to place these links and you'll be able to order these links either through my site or third party site. But either way, you'll be able to purchase the same wine that I'm drinking on this channel, okay? And like I said, this wine has a sweet kick and it's very mouth bursting. And it kind of tastes like a lightly sweetened starburst, if you get me, okay? Just bursts all in your mouth. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Unwind with Tasha K. And if you didn't like the video, you can still subscribe anyway, just so you can cuss my ass out. Not that I'm going to give a damn. Anyway, now I got to go. Bye.